earlier on another video I showed you the parts that you need in order to assemble your own or build your own computer now we're going to put all those parts inside this case it's one big case that I bought that can handle one two three four 5.25 devices such as CDs, DVDs, CD burners. We also have provisions for a floppy disk drive but I believe that's obsolete now with the advent of uh, USB flash drives. So all the parts that I showed you on another video will fit inside this. When building your own PC the first thing that you need is a flat and clean surface as your work area. Make sure that the area is also well lit because there are small parts of the computer that you might lose if it's dark. And you would only need this Phillips screwdriver. This is all that you're going to need for building your computer. Opening the case is quite straightforward. You just have to turn these two screws and then either slide up or on other models you slide it back. And you can see here there's a fan to cool your system with a connector to the power supply. And this here is your power supply that powers all your uh, devices inside, even your uh, even your motherboard. You have here the connectors that you're, or the screws that you're going to need to connect your devices and your motherboard here. You also have here. Uh, if you can read, I don't know if you can read that, but these are the connectors for your LED lights in front, like this one's for the hard disk, this one's for the uh, the reset switch, power switch, and stuff like that. And most cases have uh, USB connectors in front, and this is what you use to connect that, and this is for the for the audio next thing we're going to do is put this motherboard here so if you can see the motherboard has holes for screws to fasten this to the casing and if you notice there are also some holes inside the case what we need to do is align those holes to those holes but before we can mount this to that we need to have a mounting connected to the holes corresponding to the holes here so right now this motherboard is actually not connected or uh, mounted yet to this casing what I'm doing is I'm trying to see which holes on the motherboard uh, fits into the hole of the casing and I'm going to put mounting screws or brackets just like this one to the motherboard I sorry to the casing so that the mother motherboard will fasten to that so now what I did was I used a combination of metal fasteners or mountings as well as plastic mountings uh, to the casing and so this is what uh, we're going to use to fasten the motherboard to this casing. One caution though is that you see these edges right here? Be careful with this because this is very sharp. And most often than not, when I was still starting out doing this stuff, I usually get cuts on my fingers. Whatever. Like I slide my hands like that. So be careful. Remember also when we unboxed the motherboard, it came with a back plate like this. 
this one goes right here so that all your ports will align to the back okay so now I got the motherboard securely fastened or mounted on the casing make sure that at the back all your ports are properly aligned so the next thing we're going to do is connect the connectors for your front panel to your motherboard and most often than not each motherboard has a different kind of configuration so it's much better to consult the manual to see where the uh, hard disk lead goes to the power switch goes to so that you won't be mistaken